Once upon a time, people used to think that Australian food was lamb and three veg, uh, and it's not. <laughs> Australians love, you know, gooey, they love crunchy, they love sweet, sour, salt, heat. And if you combine lots of those things together, then it's kind of the perfect meal. Australia's gone through interesting phase with native and indigenous ingredients where when it was first kind of introduced, it was used really poorly uh, by lots of chefs. And there were lots of bad examples of us trying to, trying to take native ingredients and shoehorn them into dishes. Um, that they really didn't belong in. Whereas, and that was maybe 20 odd years ago, but now that it's re-emerged as something that seems quite uh, natural, uh, textural, um, and has, we have a much greater understanding of how those flavors work with modern Australian flavors. I'd, I'd want a bunch of people sitting around the table that are gonna have some energetic conversation. A comedian like George Carlin, who is very, is dead now unfortunately, but political and uh, a kind of, you know, sarcastic and, you know, there to kind of stir the pot. Or Billy Colony would be a, another one. Um, maybe sitting uh, Naranda Modi down at the same table, what about that? Just to kind of, you know, stir things up a little bit, just to, to see what he has to say in the face of somebody that's quite challenging to deal with. What are you going to taste today uh, uh, is a little snapshot of South Australia. So really clean, uh, fresh ingredients, a few indigenous flavours. You know, taking beautiful ingredients, not doing much with them, and then putting a bit of my style on it.